Hey guys, it's Danny Johnson. Today I'm here with my 2003 Ford Mustang Mach 1. I'm going to talk a little bit about adjusting the clutch if you have the firewall adjuster and uh, an aftermarket clutch quadrant. And just to go under here and show you what the clutch quadrant looks like, if you have an aftermarket one, if you're going to buy one, it's this uh, silver piece right up in here. And uh, the main thing you can do with adjusting it from under here is a lot of these come with two hook locations for you to put that uh, clutch cable and uh, this one's a Fiore brand it actually only has the one spot so I think they think they've got it exactly right where it should be but the Steeda one and some other ones have double hooks so you can choose which one uh, you want to put it on and that'll just help in adjusting it with the firewall so that's what I'll show you now is the firewall adjuster and here it is, uh, here's the clutch cable coming through here, and it just goes in here. Now what this does is it's basically on a, a little wheel, so as you turn it clockwise, you're loosening the cable, and as you turn it counterclockwise, you're tightening the cable as the area is getting bigger, and it's giving the effect uh, as if you're pushing the clutch in. So as you loosen it here, going counterclockwise, you're actually tightening the clutch. And so I'll show you now. I have it set up right now so that you'll hear the infamous chirping that you'll probably be trying to avoid. And I'll show you how to uh, adjust away from that. Okay, so with the clutch pushed in, Everything's good, but when you let out the clutch, you'll hear that chirping. So there's two ways to adjust to get rid of the chirping. And what that chirping is, is the throwout bearing touching the diaphragm fingers on the clutch. And there's two theories, one that the throwout bearing should always be spinning, and the other that it should only spin when you're engaging the clutch. And so I'll kind of talk about both of those and really have to let you decide on which one you want to use. Uh, so basically what's happening here is as the throwout bearing's touching those diaphragm fingers, you're hearing that chirping sound. Now when you add just enough pressure to it, what's happening now is the throwout bearing is pushed against the diaphragm fingers and it's spinning. Okay, and so this is kind of the most common way to have it set up. And I'll show you how to adjust uh, to get rid of the chirping for this way, then we'll talk about the other way. So basically what we want to do is make it so that we're basically giving it the same effect as if you were pushing the clutch in. So to do that you want to turn this counterclockwise until that chirping goes away. So what's happening now is the throwout bearing is pushed against the diaphragm fingers and it's spinning constantly okay so the the thing about that is the throw bearing is spinning and there's controversy that if it spins all the time then it'll overheat and I've even had that happen to me on a road trip it felt like it was kind of getting hard to push in and so I, I backed it off but the good thing about that is with it tied up against the diaphragm fingers your foot is giving it the maximum travel when you're going to disengage the clutch and so when you're racing if you don't want to get locked out of gears then that really helps because you're getting that full travel to release the clutch and get, get it into the next gear and as you get up towards red line that really starts to make a difference okay so that's one way to adjust the clutch the other way um, is to back off the throw out bearing so that it's not um, it's not touching the diaphragm fingers at all. And then as you go to push in the clutch, then you'll hear kind of the chirping sound for that split second. And then when you let go of the clutch, it will not be touching at all, so you won't hear any chirping. And to help with that, they've created a free play elimination mod, which is basically a spring that goes uh, underneath on the transmission. And it pushes the clutch fork and kind of spreads it away from uh, from the clutch and and helps keep it firm and I actually have that on the car um, so I can really adjust it both ways 
So to adjust it that way, we'll go out here. And you'll just do the opposite, really. You'll just turn this clockwise until the chirping goes away. And what you'll notice there is you'll have a lot more slop in the pedal. In fact, without the free play elimination mod, uh, your pedal will shake and dance around as uh, it's barely, you know, it's basically loose under there. And so people adjust it that way just because they, they have the theory that, well, if the throw out bearing is not spinning all the time, it'll last longer. But then there's the thought that if it's not spinning and you make it spin every single time you push in the clutch going from zero to whatever RPM the engine's at, that that could, uh, that could wear the throw out bearing out faster. The other disadvantage is that you have less travel because it's been backed off so much. So you will get locked out of gears as you're racing. You'll go to put in the next gear and you won't be able to get it in because you're not disengaging the clutch entirely. So that's kind of a, one of the drawbacks you can have. Uh, also with it very loose like this, as you start to drive away, the clutch pedal will have to be let out quite a ways before it starts to engage. So I'm gonna adjust it the other way where I'm going to tighten the cable by turning this counterclockwise, okay, and that's once again giving the effect as if your foot is on the clutch. Okay, and so when I pretty much heard the chirping go away, and it sounds like it's still doing it a little bit. Okay, so then I then I know that it's uh, it's gone. But basically, the way that you want to have it adjusted is either no chirp whatsoever, like this. And the advantage is that you barely start to let it out and the car will start to inch forward. Okay. Advantage with this is you won't get locked out when you're racing. And um, this throw out bearing is spinning the entire time. So that, um, once again, there's some controversy because the stock system has a plastic setup in there and it's a ratcheting mechanism that basically as you pull up on, the, on this pedal over here using your foot, on the factory setting, it should self-adjust it and keep it kind of in between both of these ranges. So when you switch to an aftermarket throwout uh, or clutch quadrant and firewall adjuster like this, this is kind of what you have to deal with. And uh, I've been driving around with mine a lot, just uh, basically hearing it chirp and just kind of resting my foot on it. And um, that can be good, but it can be bad because you don't want it to be chirping. You want the bearing to have a little bit of preload. So that's why you want it to just barely not be um, chirping. And you, that's letting the throw out bearing spin. But on the other hand, if you had too much pressure on it, you're basically riding it and it'll put a lot of pressure on that throw out bearing and heat it up. So it does have to be adjusted just right. And another thing to mention, uh, as it gets cold, the car will, it, you know, it's likely it'll start chirping and then uh, once it's warm, it'll stop as everything, you know, the heat expands everything. So you, uh, you're you better off also adjusting everything when it's hot and then just realizing that while the car's cold, you're gonna just have to rest your foot on that pedal to keep it from chirping. So it's a little complicated. I apologize if I didn't explain it very well, but uh, that's basically the principle behind uh, the adjustable firewall adjuster and the clutch quadrants. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any insight on it that perhaps I didn't cover. Just drop that in the comments. Thanks guys.